consent from me of any form. I don't need consent. I, I'm you in have public. No consent. I, you're an attorney. I will ask the deputies you're, to come stop please you do. from harassing me. Please do. Go ask them. They're right there. Stop harassing people. It's a my badge number, 173. Yeah. 173. Mm -hmm. And are you sheriff or are you? I am sheriff, yes. And what is your name? My name is Deputy Franker. Deputy, I'm sorry. Franker. F R E N G E R. F R E N G E R? Yeah, what is your name? Um, I'm, I'm court observer. When no, I what's your in, name? Your name is court observer? Yeah, my name is court observer. Okay, so I, I can give you my name, but you're not allowed to give me your name. But you're a police officer. I'm asking you. What does it have to do with me giving you giving my name? When I walked in the courtroom, you were speaking to this man. Mm -hmm. What were you speaking to him about? I just asked him who he was. And As my right, because it's my courtroom. Did you ask that man over there? I asked everybody who they were. Did yes. you do anything when his cell phone rang and it said his cell phone's in the courtroom? Is he an attorney? I'm sorry. What are you doing Is right he now? An attorney. Him? Yeah. How's that any of your business? Because I want to know if you're selectively giving me different. I want to know your name. <laughs> You're not giving me your name? I don't have to take that. All right. You do? I'm a law enforcement officer. I'm asking you your name. My name is Susan. I'll do it. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to bump you. Susan what? Um, are you an attorney? I am. And what is your name? Uh, oh. I declined to answer that. You declined. Great. Thank you. He's, he's a friend of mine. Okay. Hi, officer. What's your name? Hi, Mr. Jesse. How are you? You know me. What's your name? You forgot to tell me. Deputy Colazzo. Deputy, spell it, please, and I need the badge number. Ma'am, don't walk behind me, please. Hi there, what's your name? Sergeant Pimelet, how are you? I'm great, what's your badge number? 107. Are you park ranger or sheriff? I'm a park ranger or sergeant for the parks department. Okay, what's good. What's your name? My name's Susan Basti, and the sheriff's department knows me well. Okay. So I currently have a number of retaliation complaints against the sheriff and in the county I'm investigating the district attorney okay. and I have a civil rights complaint against the sheriff's department. Okay. Your name is Susan? Hang on. This is Susan Bassey and those of you who have been watching this YouTube channel may recall this video because this was a day when I tried to report a fire hazard and in return I was cited with an off-leash dog violation. There was no evidence that I owned a dog or that one was off-leash that I was responsible for, but it took six Santa Clara County law enforcement officers and an hour and a half to give me that violation. And when I signed the ticket, many of you thought that was a fail. It wasn't a fail, because now it means that we're going to go to court and that I'm going to have to represent myself just as I had to do in family court. But now I know how to subpoena for the police reports, the body cams, the calls for service, the radio, the training, and the licenses of all the people involved, including the attorneys. And I have a right to subpoena attorneys, sheriffs, and even judges if I need to. And one of the people that I'm going to subpoena is Deputy Oliveri, who happened to be a bailiff in my family court case before Judge Towery. He was also present at a holiday luncheon, where I'm aware that a number of false police reports were written, and he was the deputy who sent other Santa Clara County Sheriff's deputies into the court file room on the day that my hand was broken, and these were the events that took place. Please stop recording. Right now. I am trying to do my job. Stop recording. I heard you. Okay. Stop recording. I heard you. Few people ever have the opportunity to record the moment in their life when an injustice occurs. But this was the moment that I lost trust in the police. And when I found out that Deputy Oliveri had sent the police into that court file room after he had been so nice to me during my court proceedings, I began to distrust him. And then I started to think about what Deputy Oliveri had heard for the four years that he had been listening to my divorce case. You guys are doing? What are you guys Stop doing? Stop it! Stop it! What are you guys doing? Stop it! Stop it! Stop messing with us! You're, you're helping me! Don't turn the phone off! Don't turn the phone off! You're gonna wait. You're recording. What are you guys doing? You just broke my finger. You broke my finger. Sit down. 
What the fuck is wrong with you people? This is no way to be driven at a courthouse. I haven't done anything but look up family court records. Let you go. Relax. You have no right to detain me, to stop me, to do any of this stuff. She has every right to record right now. I want my phone. You're not going to get your phone. I want no, you're not my phone. phone. Take a phone. See, I already told you how this is going to work. I want my phone. You're not going to get it. You are taking my phone. You're That's an illegal search and seizure of my phone. Search? What is yes. a search? Tell me what a search you is. Tell phone. me what a search you're is. You're withholding my Tell property. Me what a search is. You're searching my phone. How am I searching your phone? Am you I going to your property? Your, you are holding so you my phone. Know you're, you're you don't even know what it's talking about. Yes, I don't even know. You look up court okay. records. Yes. This is an absolute joke, yes. guys. Is this how you press yes. up against people? We, we don't need everybody else. We, we have talk. done nothing we're wrong in here. Uh -huh. uh, I need your name, please, sir. You're a witness. My name is Joshua Seymour. Seymour, do you have a case in the in here? Yeah. Can you spell it for me, please? Thank you for. Uh, by the way, you broke my finger. Look at look at my finger. I'm not going to talk to you any further. That's fine. Joshua Seymour, can you spell we'll it, talk, please? We'll Joshua, can you spell your last name? Please? Okay. So I have her phone. Mm -hmm. We got a call from from no, uh, court out saying that he's taking the picture. He has Stop my phone. Interfering. I want my phone. It's a journalistic phone. I'm doing research in here, and he has my phone. He is withholding my phone. Okay, I got that. Turn that off, sir, please. No, I'm not sitting down. He has my phone. Sure. Turn that off. He's taking a picture. Sir, turn that off. He's being cooperative. What are you doing, man? Hey, I'm not recording anything. I have every right to have my phone. Being cooperative. Is this how you guys? Are going to push up on everybody at the courthouse? And hey, bud, if you're going to be our sheriff and vote for it, this stuff needs to stop here in Santa Clara County. Stop pushing me around. Why are we getting harassed at court? Number. I'm fighting for my child. Huh? Okay, I don't need this crap. They touched me, they broke your finger. How is this even possible for you people to do? And I'm doing the crap for boss and having you guys fired. This is ridiculous. Members of the public should not be treated like this. This is ridiculous, though. Her finger's fucking broke. Man, is that appropriate? She's a mother fighting for her divorce and for her family. She doesn't need to be treated like that. She's recording. I told her numerous times, stop recording. Let's FI him, and if he wants to leave, he's free to leave. I'm not going anywhere. I said, if you want to leave. I'm not going anywhere. I am assisting him. For those of you familiar with court security cameras or body cameras on police officers, you would know that there is no audio on security cameras. So how then did we get the audio on the video that you just saw? The answer would be that when Deputy Gomez broke my hand and illegally seized my phone, he also turned on my phone, and he was the one that made that illegal recording. And yet, when I went to internal affairs about that issue, they did nothing and said he was not at fault. The district attorney then decided to prosecute me for recording the police, and he's been prosecuting me for three years, for violating a single court rule that I was never served and that I didn't know existed on this day. So if you're asking yourself how can this be, this is the kind of stuff that goes on in family court every day, but we don't have cameras watching. Deputy Oliveri did spend over four years watching my divorce hearing. He watched the lawyers talk about me when I didn't have a lawyer myself, and he also heard the testimony of a real estate agent by the name of Patty Felice, who testified that she was a licensed agent from Intero Real Estate. When it turns out, after I posted a video about her, we discovered that she probably didn't have a license when she told the court that she did. And when Attorney Bradford Baugh wrote all the declarations for her to sell my homes and have me evicted from them as well. no time today. The court website says the traffic court is closed. The traffic ticket was for an off-leash dog. Okay. So they ended up telling me that I have a arraignment to plead guilty or not guilty scheduled for next July. So I have to come back for the off-leash dog ticket. I have to come back next July, plead guilty or not guilty, then subpoena all the officers to come back here. So the public resources that are being used for that off-leash ticket and I'm going to have to have my witness that says that my witness was responsible for the dog off leash, not me. That gets handled July 13th. There will be a hearing set, then all the subpoenas, and then we will have a formal hearing on whether I'm guilty of an off leash dog ticket or not.
And this is October 2020 right now. This is October 22nd, 2020. I'm at the traffic court in Santa Clara County. And this is what was caused by one park ranger giving me an off-leash dog ticket and there were six sheriff's deputies there when I was trying to report a fire hazard last August. Do me a favor. I heard something about you're gonna make an apology or something and you like to- I am, uh, what's your name? Deputy Spade. And what's your badge number? 1907. I want you to give this message to Deputy Oliveri. Okay. Will you tell Deputy Oliveri this for me? Will you tell him that I apologize? that he was falsely accused of some things that was actually the responsibility of a realtor who did not have her license by the name of Patty Felice. And I'm gonna explain it more, but okay. I know Deputy Oliveri, he's been the bailiff in my courtroom for a long time and so was his wife. Okay. They showed me their wedding pictures right. and uh, their friend who was a bridesmaid was actually in my house one time. And I know you guys are good guys, and I don't want anyone to ever say that I said otherwise about Deputy Oliveri. Okay, and I'm okay. sorry you were... Okay, my name is Susan Bassey. Okay. Okay? I'll let them know. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, you reach the office of Terry Meyer. I'm sorry, but I'm unavailable to take your call at this time. So leave a message, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, and have a great day. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, Jerry. This is Susan Bassey, and I came into your office today. I'm a former client. I'm also the former publisher of My Out and About magazine, and I'm migrating from print to a visual journalism magazine. And I also am investigating some issues related to some real estate with Intero that I had personal dealings with. And previously, I purchased a home at 16498 Los Gatos Almaden Road in Los Gatos. My agent was Tracy Pena. I now understand she is with Coldwell Banker. And she, for that purchase, gave a referral fee to Patty Felice of the Morgan Hill Intero office. And I can't find any paperwork on that. And I understood that that would be on the seller's paperwork. But... There should be something related to that referral fee and that your office did the appropriate paperwork. We are investigating whether or not Miss Felice had an active uh, Intero Broker Associates license at that time. We hear a lot these days about police officers not being very educated and failing to write proper police reports, which affects criminal court cases, family law cases involving custody and domestic violence. But I want to remind you that it was a lawyer at the beginning and the end of this video who didn't appear to know the law about recording in public, and his attitude about rec being recorded in public and how he viewed that as harassment is very indicative of how lawyers behave in family court, where they make a lot of money. And I also want to let you know that I'm going to work very hard in this traffic court case to show you exactly what we need to do to get a fair hearing because I want to make sure at the end of the day, if Patty Felice is found to have engaged in criminal conduct by not having a license and committing perjury and filing false documents, as well as obstructing justice in a divorce case, that she is assured every possibility of due process and a fair hearing, because I want to make sure that if she's ever convicted by a jury, that that conviction stands. I don't need consent. Uh, I'm you in have public. No consent. I, you're an attorney. I will ask the deputies you're, to come stop please you do. From harassing me. Please do. Go ask them. They're right there. Stop harassing people. It's against the law. You've committed crimes, sir. 